Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Chef Dennis and right now we are making some cool little appetizers. So if you're having a party, if the holidays are coming, um, whatever's going on, try some of these out. So right now we're going to do some caprese skewers or we're going to use little toothpicks. But you know, um, there, we're going to do a few different variations on it and uh, you know, get fun with it. Do, do what you like to do. If you like something I'm putting in there, cool. If you want to put something else in there, feel free, you know, play with your food a little bit, it's, it's okay. So, I have a bunch of ingredients I already have put together here. So let's just start with, how about some shrimp? I just grilled these shrimp off before, they're really delicious. And actually, I'm gonna use a six inch skewer for these. All right, so I'm gonna go in just a little bit on the tail here, and then I'm gonna stick in there a piece of mozzarella. All right. And then we're gonna bring that all the way through. And then as that's coming out, now we're gonna put a little tomato, right? And then we're gonna use a little fresh basil. Now look at this, about the basil, I wanted to talk to you about, we have really big leaves here, and then we have the, the, the tender baby leaves on the inside. You really wanna use the tender baby leaves because they're real delicate, they, like, a, like I said, they're tender, but the big leaves, they tend to get rough, and those grow on the plant like that, just like this. Those big ones, they get tough, so you don't really want to eat them plain, so that's where pesto came from. People started coming up with ways to use those big leaves because they're not real desirable. So we're going to take a little leaf here, we'll just stick it on our caprese. We'll get a piece of prosciutto on there. It has that nice salty and pork flavor. If you don't like prosciutto or if you're vegetarian, you don't have to use the shrimp or the prosciutto. So anyway, let's just skewer that right on there. And look at that. It's a nice little spin on the caprese. Right, so that's one that we have done here. And then let's just do a plain tomato mozzarella caprese. So we'll take our uh, tomato, I mean our mozzarella, We'll put that on and then we'll take a little uh, basil. Again, try to use the tender uh, baby leaves if you have. If you don't, just rip a little piece off. You're good to go. Let's get some tomato on there. That's your classic caprese right there. It's real simple, you know? And then for this one, why don't we add a little more prosciutto? You see, there's no rules. You just do whatever is feeling good at the time. Look at that, those are nice. So let's go even further now. Let's take a little cucumber. And then I'm gonna cut that in half. And then why don't we take this cucumber and we'll, let's use a six incher on this one. I'm gonna kinda go on an angle. Be careful not to spike yourself there. All right, and then let's put some prosciutto on there. All right, just drape it on. All right, now we'll take some basil. You see, I'm just playing. I didn't have any rules here. I've just started playing. Let's pull it up a little. Now we'll get some tomato on there. And then we'll put some more mozzarella on there. And look at that. So now we have some of these on here. Then I'm gonna take these from the previous little clip we did here before. And look at these, all of a sudden we have a nice little appetizer plate. These are all different, right? So do, it, do whatever you want here. Then you can take a little bit of fresh ground pepper. You can give a little squeeze on top. All right? If you want, you can throw a little parsley on there. I mean, look how nice this looks, right? Let's throw a little melon in the middle, and then maybe a strawberry. Look at that, all of a sudden you have a little party potter. Thanks for stopping by and checking out our little caprese skewers today.